All right, Dave, it's time to win that D&D race, and my character just can't be beat. You still using that tabaxi rogue build? You know it. Oh, uh, looks like it's time to hang up your championship belt. I have a faster character than yours. Do tell. Move over, speedsters. It's time to talk about making the ultimate speed demon character. 5th edition D&D. Welcome to Nerdarchy for Nerds, by Nerds, I'm Nerdarchist Dave, and as usual, I'm joined by this nerd. Nerdarchist Ted. Are you a fan of D&D videos? Then you're going to want to run over to that subscribe button before it's too late. But if it's more Nerdarchy you're after, then you might want to zip over to that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. You know, this video, Ted, is all about being fast, but know what else can make you pretty fast in D&D? And what's that? Using D&D Beyond, you'll make characters faster than ever. Look up all the D&D information you need, and you'll have all the official content in one database at your fingertips. With all the great books out there for D&D, it's so easy to research things like this uh, just by, you know, jumping on a D&D Beyond, open up a couple of tabs, and boom, 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 and grab everything so much faster than I can, uh, you know, in these wonderful books behind me. Uh, so you got definitely got to check out D&D Beyond. The link is going to be down in the description below. All right. So with that, we're going to jump in and we're going to go through all the things that can add speed to your character in 5e D&D. And we're going to start off with your character race. All right. So if you want to, you know, follow along, feel free. If you think this is really cool and you want us to do a character build guide like we've been known to do before, please let us know in the comments. This is just going to be the, you know, the general research for that. The so, Theorycraft. Uh, the Theorycraft app. All right, so we've got three different groups. We've got several that have a, a speed of 35. We have one that has a speed of 40. And then we have one that offers flight. Then we have a mis miscellaneous category, right? So our races that give us a uh, movement of 35 right from the get-go are our Wood Elf, our Leonin, and our Sator. The Centaur, you know, checks in at a whopping 40 to start. Uh, our Aracrocra is really fast if it's flying. It's not so much if it's walking, but it's got a flight speed of 50. The Orc has Aggressive, which allows you to move as a bonus action towards an enemy as long as you end your turn closer to them. So Tabaxi has Feline Agility, which allows you to double your uh, walking speed, and that refreshes in a round when you don't move again. So it, it's, it's, a, it's a one and done, uh, great for bursts of speed, but not so much for continual long, long distance runs. And then you have Shifter, the Swift Strider. So uh, it, part of your shifting feature is your speed goes up by 10 feet. But in addition to that, when uh, some, when, a, when an opponent land, uh, ends its turn near you, you can use a reaction to move 10 feet away from it without drawing an attack of opportunity. Uh, all right, so that was our uh, our race options. Uh, you guys can you know kind of follow along and try to figure out which direction we're going to go. What's next, Dave? Next up, we have classes. There's six different ones. We're going to kick it right off. Uh, with Artificer at third level, you can take Alchemist, you can make your Elixirs, you can make an Elixir of Swiftness. That's going to add 10 feet to your uh, walking speed, and it's going to last an hour. Barbarian, if you take it up to fifth level, is going to give you a 10-foot boost to your speed. So Bard at third level, uh, if you go Glamour, you get the Mantle of Inspiration. And, you know, when you use it, you give temporary hit points, and when... You know, those creatures that receive those temporary hit points, they can then expend their reaction to to move. Now, it doesn't make you particularly quicker because you had to use your bonus action. So if you you can't use anything else with it in conjunction, but it might make other people in your party a lot faster. Uh, Monk is uh, another great one. By second level, you're going to get a plus 10. And if you take it all the way up to 18th, you're at a whopping plus 30 to your movement speed. Here's one you might not have been expecting. The Paladin. Uh, Oath of Glory, they get the Aura of Alacrity at 7th level. Uh, it just adds 10 foot of movement uh, to walk your movement to your walking speed, but also to anyone within your aura. So it makes you faster, also makes your allies faster as well. In that, you know, Greek, that Theros setting, you know, it definitely fits. It's definitely a lot of fun. Uh, and then last but not least, not a bonus to your speed, but rogue cunning action being able to move as a bonus is super helpful. Yeah, dashing is a bonus action. So basically, if you dash as a bonus action, dash is your action and move, basically you can triple your speed, whatever that happens to be. Next up, we're going to move into magic items. And we've come up with five different ones 
that we think are going to be useful. All right, so you got your boots of speed, you got your potion of speed, you got your horseshoes of speed. Oh my, how much of speed do we actually have? Uh, we also have a pennant of Vendarun and ah. uh, Eagle of the Whistle, or Eagle Whistle. So let's like kind of break them down a little bit, right? Boots of speed is basically uh, you get to use haste for an X amount of time a day. You can kind of break it up incrementally. So that's pretty useful. Potion of speed is haste without the concentration effect. So you just glue, 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 and you know, you, you get the, bo the bonus. So that's really helpful. Horseshoes of speed. Now there's only one character in the game that I know of that can use it. Uh, these, this is a great magic item because it adds 30 feet to your movement and does not require attunement. That's pretty nice. Uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, Watsi wasn't considered, uh, you know, uh, considering using Centaur when this was put in there, I think it was designed for your mount, not so much for your PC. Yeah. But, you know, who knows? Yeah. Uh, then we have the pennant of Vin the Rune. Uh, and the, the runes have this interesting thing where you can kind of combine them with a non-magical item. If you do that with the armor, with this one, it increases your movement speed by five. And last but not least is the Eagle Whistle. Uh, this is, uh, you know, one that you, you just blow on it. Uh, and you're going to be able to gain a flying speed equal to double your walking speed. So anytime you talk about, you know, doing a doubling, we like to hear these kind of things. So, uh, yeah. Next up, we have four spells you can dig into to add some movement. First up, Expeditious Retreat. Pretty much everybody gets this one. And as a bonus action, it's just going to allow you to basically move or use a dash. We got Long Strider. This is a great one. It's going to add a flat 10 uh, to your movement speed. No concentration. Super helpful. This is Bard, Druid, Ranger, Warlock, and Artificer. So uh, Zypher Strike is very specific. Only the Ranger gets it. And basically, part of it is uh, you can do bonus damage at some point. And when you do, you then gain a um, 30 foot of movement. But it's like a one and done thing. Uh, once you use that feature. And then last but not, certainly not least, haste. You know, we kind of mentioned this with the, you know, the boots of speed and the, po the potion of speed. You know, the only thing we're really looking at here is this is another doubling of your walking speed. So depending upon how your DM likes to do, you know, a double, double, is that a quadruple or is that only a triple? Uh, that's, that's for your table to decide. But, you know, we tend to play things a double, double is a quadruple, so... Then there's feats, and there's only really one. And that's going to be mobility for another plus 10 bonus to your, uh, your walking speed. All right, so we're going to kind of compile this stuff and see what you come up with. We did kind of two, like, fast and dirty builds uh, with our need for speed build. We got one that comes in at a whopping 1560 around, and another that comes in at a tremendous 2160 around. So, you know, for for that one, you know, we are we are really looking at Centaur and Tabaxi. Now, Tabaxi getting an extra doubling that nobody else can do. Uh, for the round, you know, if you're just looking at who's the fastest sprinter for six seconds, you know, it's going to wind up being your Tabaxi. But we're looking at making that distance runner who can just keep going total Energizer Bunny style here. And for that, we're going to look at our Centaur. So they're going to start off at a 40 feet per round. And then after that, we're going to look at the classes. And for that, we can add Artificer, Barbarian, Monk, Paladin. They're going to add just straight up speed and then Rogue for that bonus action dash. For our feats, we're looking at Mobility to get an extra 10 and Long Strider for our spells to get an extra 10. And when we go to Magic Items, what do we got, Dave? We got Horseshoes of Speed to add another 30, Eagle Whistle to double our, our walk speed as a fly speed, and Potion of Speed to give us basically haste. And that's how we get these amazing speeds. The tabaxi can't get access to those horseshoes. So that's where it falls short. And, and you know, it, you know, if I would say, you know, from rounds one through five ish or so, the tabaxi is much faster. But at five to ten, the centaur see starts outpacing the tabaxi because the tabaxi, in, in order to use that uh, feline agility, it's it's going to have to not move for a round. So it's definitely uh, amusing, definitely fun to, you know, really try and, you know, math this kind of stuff out. Uh, you know, this is the, the kind of stuff that we used to do a lot of. I definitely did in, you know, uh, the days of third edition. So this harkens back to those times where we're just nerding out and seeing how many different things can combine. 
if uh, you know you dug this video and you'd like to see us actually make the character build and the guide to go along with it, uh, you know, please let us know down in the comments. You know, but this isn't the first time that we've talked about making that fast character build. You want to check out, you know, the, the conversation with myself and Nate and Nerdark about the fastest D&D character build. You want to check out that link above. If you enjoyed this video, you can support us over on Patreon and keep, uh, keep helping us do what we do. As a special thanks to our, our patrons beyond our normal rewards, we're making magic item cards, maps, and other 5e content, and more every month. So with that, until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.